last month, this month, and next month. We have to pay. It doesn't matter whether you are the president or not. Therefore, if people were quiet in the previous regimes and no one queried their spending habits, the chickens are home now to roost. Whether we agreed with them then or not, the fact is we now have a col col collective responsibility to honor our obligations. Then lastly, uh, my colleague has said that he would look forward to making sure that hospitals are free and education is free. And, and this is where I differ with Azimio. You know, equivocacy is not really a good thing. Sometimes it's good to be, it's good to have to stand your ground. On one end, you cannot say you want something free. On the other hand, you do not want us to tax you. Now, we must draw a line where we say, look, we have, we have stories uh, running the whole of last week about 10 HIF hospitals turning away patients because NHIF is unable to honor obligations. There is a cash crunch. Two months ago, we had an issue with the civil servant salary. They had delayed. And therefore, what I am saying is, we must strike a balance. Everywhere the president goes, whether in Luo Nyanza or in central Kenya or in northeastern or in eastern province, in yes. central, mm -hmm. leaders are asking for roads. Leaders are asking for hospitals. Leaders are asking for education. Now, if you are Gashagwa, and that's why the deputy president is clearly saying, let us pass this finance bill, because without, uh, without the budget, yes. there is no expenditure. And therefore, we must come collectively as a country and agree that the things that we seek have to be paid for by somebody. There is nothing for free. Yes. There, is, there is no free lunch. I mean, those of us who are in business, we know there's no free lunch. So if you're asking government uh, for free hospital, who is going to pay? Someone must incur expenditure. That means we must remove money from Simba, remove money from Mongai a little bit, remove money <laughs> <laughs> from Lagalo, yeah. so that collectively yes. we can advance an agenda. But there's nothing like free lunch. There's nothing, absolutely nothing. So I completely concur with the deputy president we must pay tax. Yes. Pass the, pass the bill. That, that's what he's saying. Pass the bill. And I, I want you to attach. I want, yes. Yes. The taxations are so high. Mm -hmm. I agree. Let's pay the tax. Then if we are to pay this tax, mm -hmm. then make those two things free. If we are to pay this tax, why would you tax me NHIF that much and I don't get the right services? Do you know what NHIF pays? It doesn't pay treatment. It pays for the bed. Are you going to have a lodging in a hospital? Mungai, that was the question, by the way, because it's not like the majority of Kenyans have not been contributing to NHIF yeah, they, yes. when the hospitals were turning them away. Yes. Do you think that's a legitimate question that if you're going to tax me that much, then, then they give me double services. That, then let me make sure that the service is available. No, it's a legitimate concern. Yes. I mean, last time we said here that tax is premised on a very simple analogy. No, Quid pro quo, no. something for something. I give you something in yeah. expectation or in return, I expect a service. No. And therefore, <laughs> we are not saying that people should not ask legitimate and credible questions yes. as to how their money is utilized. Granted that, I mean, I mean that, that is the threshold. We all agree that that is the threshold. So long as I am being taxed, yes. then there should be some level of prudence in terms of how that tax is managed. So that is not